What's good YouTube? This is an unboxing video for NMD R2s with a little twist. So uh, what we're getting into today is an unboxing of uh, a pair of NMD R2s, but there's nothing special about these. As I always do with my unboxings, I'm going to have a five point scale. Uh, first, we'll judge them on comfort, then style, versatility, value, and then the big feet index, which is for people like me with big feet. Uh, to see if these shoes look good on foot. So without further ado, let's get into the box. As you can see, it's still got the tape on it from uh, when it was delivered. Like I said, it's not a, a particularly special pair of NMDs, but there's a little twist. One of those five points that we that I mentioned at the start there is, uh, is pretty special. So your standard NMD Adidas box, uh, you can see on the end there, NMD R2 PK Prime Knit, so they're a pretty good pair of shoes. Okay, so if you are up to speed on your sneakers, you will know that this is a fairly old NMD R2, it's not particularly new. Uh, but I've had my eye on this for a long, long time, probably as much as six months, and then uh, finally it kind of came down in price and hit the sale. So uh, the thing I really liked about it was that this brick here, particularly the black and the red, um, which goes with the, the white prime knit upper uh, really well. And that kind of reminds me of the 80s sort of thing. So uh, I'll maybe pop in some uh, screenshots of the 80s from that. So, uh, yep, so having a look at that, there's uh, your standard prime knit. Get a closer look at the, the prime knit feel. You can see it's got the uh, the usual pull tab on the back, the brick, like I already explained. And uh, the sole, the outsole is the black outsole on the white Ultra Boost with a really big boost at the back uh, running all the way through not like the r1s which had the uh, bricks at the front uh, and the back here and also on this side as well i prefer the r2s very much because they're much more comfortable than the r1s okay so i said a five point scale so uh comfort wise these uh really fit brilliantly i think um especially the prime knit r2s fit really really well uh, and i give this an eight uh, a score of eight for comfort especially um it's hard for me for with large feet I, I wear 30.5 centimeters which is 12.5 us and it's quite hard to find shoes that fit and fit well and these really really do fit well so i'm giving these eight points uh, i'm gonna go with seven points for style on these um they're pretty neat shoe pretty clean shoe i think the brick really brings out the white if you like enough that's that's a bit of a funny way to say it. and i like that the fact that the sole is black uh the outsole is black as opposed to the white which often uh nmd r2s have so uh, third, versatility. So versatility uh, is all about whether or not this can be used, this sneaker can be used in a, a variety of different places or ways, you know, sports or wearing it casually um, out in the street and things like that. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give this a six. Um, I would say you would wear this casually for fashion on the street, for example, and things like that. I would, I would guess people wouldn't wear it for sports. I don't think you'd run in this, to be honest, even though it's kind of a running shoe. Um, I don't think you'd play basketball or any kinds of sports in this. Uh, fourth ranking, the fourth thing that we're going to rank on this is value. And this is where uh, the twist comes in because this shoe retails for 27,000 yen. Remember, we're in Japan here, so uh, the price is in yen. Um, but I picked this up on the Adidas website for, I think it was 7,000 yen. Uh, so 27,000 yen down to 7,000 yen. You're probably talking a 70%, 65% discount. So in US dollars terms, that's about, um, I don't know, it's about $60 or is it $80? I'll, I'll, I'll put a, a graphic up on the screen to see that. So for value, I've got to go ahead and give this a 10. This is a really nice sneaker, a really clean NMD R2. And if you can pick that up for between 16 and 80 bucks, then you're, you're doing well. So 10 points on that. Uh, and then the final thing is big foot index, big feet index. Uh, I'm, like I said, I wear a large pair of shoes and uh, finding shoes that fit my big feet, which is uh, 30.5 centimeters or 12.5 uh, in US terms is amazing for me, really is, to be honest. I find it hard to find sneakers that fit and look good. And I think these do both of those things very, very well. A really clean sneaker. So I give it nine points for uh, for that ranking. Uh, for a total of 41 points, 41 points overall for the NMD R2 that I picked up in the sales. Um, a really nice sneaker, really clean sneaker. Keep an eye on the, the Adidas websites. You'll be able to find yourself some pretty good sneakers at a fairly decent price that look pretty good. Um, an NMD R2 Prime Knit will set you back 27,000 yen, which is uh, something like 
$250-$300, getting it for under $100 in sales, uh, I say that's a pretty fair deal. And it's a sneaker that I really, really did want, so I'm happy to get it. Okay, so that's the unboxing for the NMD R2s, 41 points in total. Peace. Thank you, YouTube. I really appreciate you sticking with it and watching the video through to the end. Uh, at the end of the videos, I always post this little bit of content. And if you've seen this before, you'll know there's no new content from this point on. Just want to point out, if you can, please follow me on Instagram at TokyoButter23, at TokyoButter23. I appreciate it. It really helps out. It really helps grow the channel. Uh, also, this is uh, the YouTube channel called Tokyo Butter for that Instagram account. Um, it's super helpful. It really makes a massive difference if you subscribe. Massive difference. If you like, massive difference. If you view, and massive difference if you share. So I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe, view, share, and like. Of course, like like the videos uh, it really helps out a lot as well uh, and finally at the bottom of every video i post i always put uh, a link to the first video that i want everybody to see so if you're if this is your first time coming to the channel please 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 check out a video linked in the description below called introduction to the tokyo butter channel which will give you an idea of why i'm doing this why i've created a sneaker channel and why i want you to watch and subscribe thanks for taking your time to check it out peace